Welcome to the Dangerous Grounds Network, the number one online radio network in the world. 100% American Badass. Sponsored by Madison Rising. King's Hollow. Redcon One Music Group. The Veteran Exchange. Combat Flip Flops. Brandon Warriors Inc. Let's get dangerous. Coffee. Coffee no! There. So this is the sewer where you persons breed your anti-community crimes. Hello, Ms. Gar- President Garcia Thompson. Hey, monkeys, how about a little respect? The presiding person of the university just walked in. <laughs> I went in there one day uh, to Popeyes, and there was this girl that worked there named Lawanda, uh, who was a cheerleader, but she weighed like 300 pounds, so she didn't cheerlead too hard, you know? She's like, I'm two, four, six, eight. I'm going to go get something to eat. <laughs> Every man in this room has a buddy who, after his fifth beer, will hang out a car window. Coming to you live from Charlotte, North Carolina. It's the Dangerous Grounds Network presents the number one morning show in America. It's the three percent of morning show with your host, Sergeant Big Country. Now put on that PT belt, wash your cocks, and change your socks, and get ready to stroke this freedom boner. Let's get dangerous. What? <laughs> Bitch, I operate. We might be crazy. We might be drunk. We're sipping on whiskey. And now here we come. And we're riding dirty. This might be fake. Three words for your face. Bitch, I operate. Bitch, I operate. Bitch, I operate. Chillin' at the range, fire rate sustain Lead showers when I make it rain Sea clamp like a motherfucking boss hog Got more packages than you, I'm a damn dog Two in the morning, doing CQB Tiptoeing down the hallway Shh, my wife might hear me Got my Instagram game on lock Especially when gun bunnies be drooling on my cock <laughs> Got the whole crew like We the best When I drop loads, <laughs> they're always suppressed People say, haters gonna hate I'm just like, bitch, I operate We might be crazy, we might be drunk We're sipping on whiskey, and now here we come And we're riding dirty, this might be fake Three words for your face Bitch, I operate, bitch, I operate Bitch, I operate What's up, Dangerous Grounds Nation? Welcome to another 3%er morning show with your host, Big Country. 
in the crazy Cajun. What up, brother? What's going on? What's going on? It's a motherfucking throwback Thursday. Fucking chilling, man. Had a great freaking day yesterday. Uh, I'm sure everybody has seen now. You know, of course, everybody knows I'm doing like this little Motivating America thing that my manager's helping me brand. And one of the things that I do is, you know, I have these shirts that uh, that I've made up. And, you know, we go around, you know, just, you know, scoping out. And me and my homegirl seen this Army veteran. And, uh, you know, he just looked kind of down and whatnot. And I got out the truck and was like, hey, brother, thank you for your service. I love you. And uh, we sat there and talked for a little bit, and uh, we gave him a Motivating America t-shirt and a sticker, and me and him both had some some tears of happiness, man, but dude, that made, that made my day yesterday. I got up feeling fucking amazing, like pissing excellence today, because, I mean, there's nothing like putting a smile on somebody's face. You never know what they're fucking going through, and... <laughs> he looked at me and was like, nice, nice Madison Rising sticker. And I was like, well, by the way. <laughs> so we ended up giving him a little free VIP pass to come to the show and stuff like that, man. Just got to love it, man. Got to love to see that being able to put smiles on people's faces and get them motivated. Because you never know what the fuck people are going through nowadays. Hey, you motivating me. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up man i appreciate it so uh we got miss lady liberty in the house this morning we got big ron c we got t-man as usual fucking love you guys uh love you sis everybody knows heather is miss lady liberty she had a killer show last saturday man uh last time i looked there was shit i think almost uh almost we had like about 50 people on with us but it's on double that in the uh playbacks so y'all don't forget about her this coming Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Got another shocker for you. So what's going on, brother? How's, how's your day? How's your morning? All that good shit. Have you had your coffee yet? I'm on the second cup of mine if you can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm late to the party, you know. I, I'm the mustard just trying to find the ketchup. But uh, I, got the, I got the coffee brewing right now, so we're going to get it cracking here in a minute. But I'm doing good, man. I'm doing real good. That's uh, just up. happy to be alive, blessed to be here, and ready to get the show rocking. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. So, uh, what's on your mind, man? What, what, what kind of, uh, what you got to talk about this morning? We'll go through, uh, go through your stuff first. And then, uh, we're going to give everybody just a little bit of a sneak peek of tonight on the DG radio show at 8 PM Eastern. We're going to have Mark Defoe from Kings Hollow, Aries Cobain, and the man, Sam Fishman from the most patriotic band in the U S Madison rising. And their manager. So uh, <laughs> we'll get in that a uh, little bit into the show. But uh, what you got there, big brother? What's on? What's on that beautiful mind of yours? No homo. <laughs> uh, hey, I know. I know. Everybody has seen this Tennessee reenlistment with the hand puppet. So I'm yeah. trying to figure out where people lie because it, it's been funny, man. I've seen uh, comments that were definitely. Uh, against what they were doing and said that goes against everything that they ever believe in in a reenlistment ceremony. Then I've had others that I've read comments about that said, what's the big deal? You know, they, they try to lighten it up and make it fun for everyone. It's a, a it's a personal reenlistment thing, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, to me, I think it's a slap in the face and disrespectful as fuck, but maybe I'm in the wrong. I don't know. You, you tell me, what do you think? Yo, know, I, I don't hit women, but I think I'd have to bring one of my homegirls to knock, knock the woman in her fucking nose, and I would commence to beating the other guy's ass. Just saying. I know the military. I know that may offend somebody. I'm saying if it offends you, go cry in a fucking corner. But that is dis- disrespectful to the entire military, even the reserves, National Guard, and everybody who's ever put that fucking uniform on. Really, a goddamn puppet. And you're going to sit there and fucking still do it? Uh, Now, don't get me wrong. I understand it. It's our choice on where we would like to... uh, (laughs) That's right, sissy. I'll bring your ass. That's for damn sure. (laughs) You know, you get to pick where you want to re-enlist. 
But that is not something to fucking say, hey, I want to wear a fucking T-Rex thing on my fucking hands. So that way, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's yeah, how I, I, uh, I I couldn't believe when I saw, I said, really, a fucking hand puppet? Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, you know, <laughs> then I just start, I start thinking about, here's what I start thinking about, okay? Because I like doing funny shit. I like doing silly shit. Right. And I'm thinking to myself, what does these other countries think about our fucking military when they see shit like this? Yeah. You know, That's... like, are they going to take us seriously? Is this what our military is all about? We soft, you know, we just don't give a fuck. Like, it's all lax now. And I'm just like, no, this is not the, the portrayal of what a person in uniform representing fucking United States of America should look like. Right. So... It had me boiled, man. I couldn't, I, I couldn't get down with the people who were saying, "Ah, lighten up." I've seen reenlistment ceremonies that were, you know, just as funny or or, or as worse or whatever. And I'm just like, "What the fuck?" Like everyone <laughs> I've been into, you know, I was a scout. We were right. in a combat unit. Uh, we didn't have time to fucking go get a hand puppet. We would have got our asses rolled over. You know what no I mean? Shit. So I, I don't know what the military. You know, I got out in 08. I don't know what the fuck's going on now. Uh, man, I, I completely agree with you. And Lady Liberty says she set the female soldiers back 20 fucking years. It's bitches like her that make female soldiers get harassed. And I have to agree with you on that, sis. You know, the female females have took a big step up in the military with going, you know, you know, going to the front lines. You know, the girls got some guts and. You know, for, for for some of you guys out there that think that, that females are beneath us, you are fucking wrong. A female should stand right beside us. Because, you know, there are some there are some things that they are better at than we are. So why not why not get the fuck over it? And if you don't like it, I'll take my thousand dollar fucking foot and shove it up your ass. But that just makes the team fucking stronger. You're adding more pieces to the puzzle that's gonna complete it. And then now you got this shit, and it does, sissy. You're you're completely right. It, it just it makes the females look retarded, and they get harassed and shit about it. Next thing you know, you're gonna have some female going, "Well, he was harassing me," and da 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 da, and he'll probably get in trouble of it, even though he had a damn good reason to do it. Yeah, and then it goes back to the age old thing that we always talk about. If you do want to do something ridiculous like that, don't fucking film it and put it on social media. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, they wanted to get fucking fired or lose their retirement or fucking portray them as being a piece of shit. Otherwise, why the hell would you film it? You know what I mean? Exactly. I agree with you. I hope both of them fucking got damn kicked out. But they were one of them's officers, so he's going to get a little pat on the back. Don't do that again. Motherfucker, I'll I'll toilet paper the fucking shit out of you, pour fucking green jello on you and make you walk butt ass backwards like oh my god. You know, I'm just that that really infuriates the fucking piss out of me. Big Josh Everett, what's up, big dog? Uh yeah, I just hit him a shout out. <laughs> Josh is uh Josh is a part of the barracks lawyers that you can catch. Uh, Sunday at five PM Eastern, which is a show about absolutely nothing. But we like to have fun. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> hey, man, if you never heard Barracks Lawyers, man, you got to listen to it. it. It's, I mean, we don't really prepare for it, but then we kind of do, you know, just certain topics to talk about. And for all you, any of you active duty military out there that's listening, you might learn something on like how to get away with putting a stripper pole in your room or even in the common room. Is that AR-15? Is that the Army's policy, or is that your property? Who knows? <laughs> so, yeah, that's you, that's... you always want to have one of those in court with you, you know? <laughs> right. <laughs> right on. So, uh, what else you got there, big dog? Great thing about sports today. Any, anybody get their legs broke? Anybody get their ankles broke? Uh, well, you know, I, I watched the Houston game last night. And they fucking destroyed the Timberwolves. However, they played like shit 
but they still ended up beating them by almost 20 points. But it was a good game. Uh, it was here in Houston. So I've been following my team.